When a geyser is constructed new, it is manufactured with a polyurethane layer. Now this layer at the bottom of the tank is anything from about 15 to 25 millimeters and at the top anything from about 30 to about 40 millimeters depending on the manufacturing process and the type of geyser. But as you can see here this tank is about two years old with time the polyurethane layer and with the heat starts deteriorating and although the geyser is very effective when it's new the insulation starts losing its properties. What we do with the geyser blanket, we're taking an additional insulation and putting that at the top of your geyser. So now what we're doing is where you've got all your hot water temperature inside, that temperature is lost to the outside and your thermostat picks up that the geyser is cooling down, it switches on the element, uses power, switches off, it loses the heat again, switches on, switches off, switches on, because this is not an effective insulation anymore. With our product, and you'll actually feel the difference, without a blanket, the geyser is hot on the outside because it loses the temperature. Once the blanket is installed, you cannot feel the heat because it properly insulates that geyser. So instead of switching on and off so many times during the day, by insulating it properly, it now only switches on once or twice. And by also effectively timing your geyser so that during the day it doesn't switch on unnecessarily, you have additional energy savings because the blankets will keep it hot and make sure that it doesn't lose the, the, the heat. And in the afternoon when we switch it on, it actually heats up a lot faster as well because it's so effectively insulated. So the product, in summary, saves you a lot of electricity cost. The one um, aspect that I do want to mention is there's this myth and misunderstanding regarding summer months that a lot of people feel that a geyser blanket does not work in the summer months. And that is completely wrong. Although we've now seen that your, your, your roof temperatures at the top of the roof is 60 degrees, but at ceiling level where the geyser is, it's only 40 degrees. And that's during midday. But in the summer months, the roof temperatures at night fall quite a lot. So you've still got energy losses and heat losses during the evening in the summer. And that's, that's when you're actually showering and bathing. And that's when the geyser blanket critically needs to do its job in the summer months as well. So you will never have an outside temperature of 60 degrees with your geyser. And that's why it's important to have a geyser blanket in place summer and winter months. So you will save electricity right through the year by installing the geyser blanket product. Again, the product has got the foil facing, so this blanket can be used for a geyser that's installed inside or outside the roof. It's hail resistant, it's UV resistant, so this product will effectively insulate your geyser for the life of the geyser. And in fact, if the geyser bursts, all you do is you tell the plumber, please take the blanket, and you'll see on the installation that we're gonna do, it's three straps, a bit of tape that's removed and the same blanket can be installed on your new geyser. So the blanket would last a lifetime of three to four geysers. So it's, a, it's like a, a, a lifetime investment for your house by installing a geyser blanket.